so everybody could feel safe. Relly said, I take the bullets out. When Relly takes out the bullet from his gun, he feels safe with $15,000 on him. Relly decides to roll again. Relly starts rolling again. Five more thousand dollars. Relly makes his $20,000 that Relly has. When Relly makes his $20,000, Relly decides to leave the place now. Relly decides to leave the place with sleazes and slimes. And he's a crip and it was bloods. He blames it on the bloods. He said, no, I don't want to share no money. I took all their money. It was a guy named Jay Rose. It was a guy named Jay Rose and his friends. They slimes and they sleazes. When Relly now runs up the stairs inside of the gamble spot. When he reaches to the top of the stairs, he looks outside. He sees a guy on the side of him. The guy on the side of him, I don't know his name. I cannot say his name. But the guy on the side of him looks at Relly and says, Relly, what are you doing? Relly said, I need my Uber. Relly said, please, can you get my Uber? Relly looks around. He don't see his Uber. Relly has $20,000 on him, and he needs an Uber. Relly has $20,000 on him, and he needs an Uber. When Relly now sees that the Uber is late and Relly cannot find the faith, this guy, he has his gun on him with no bullets in it. He has $25 in his pouch. He has a gun with no bullets on it with $20,000 in his pouch. This guy noticed that Relly is lacking. He put the bullets out of the gun. When Relly pulls the bullets out of the gun, the guy knows that the bullets is out of the gun. The guy raises up one right fist. And when the guy raises up his right fist, he knocks Relly out with one strong punch from God. And the punch that he gave him would destroy Relly. Relly was not crip. He was a brick. Relly was not a crip. He was a brick. As Relly get his grip ass beat up and his sleeves and the slums is punching him together. Him and his friends start keep on punching Relly. As they continue to punch Relly, Relly starts to scream for help. Nobody's around to help him, but nobody's there but the slimes and the sleeves. When these guys keep on punching Relly, oh my God, I apologize. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Relly mother's crying now. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. mother's cries. It's okay, darling. It's all right. It's all right, darling. Don't worry. I will get to you in a second. So as the slimes him continue to punch Relly face off, and Relly tried to struggle for his $20,000, he intends to get a lot of uppercuts, a lot of hooks, a lot of lefts, a lot of kicks. He drops to the ground. When Relly drops to the ground, Relly screams out, I am a crip for crying out loud. I am wild card crip. I am wild card crip. You cannot do this to me. While well, Relly screams that he's wild card crip, and the bloods keep on punching his face through the ground, and Relly starts rolling around through the ground. Relly screaming for his life. Relly gets up. Relly noticed that he has no more money in his pocket, nothing else on him, just a t-shirt and the dirty ass sweatpants he came with. Relly's traumatized. Relly gets his ass up and Relly don't know what to do. Relly takes his ass and run his ass all the way to Atlanta. When Relly gets to Atlanta now, after Relly gets to Atlanta now, Relly's in Atlanta now, Relly is screaming at these girls. He's kidnapping a woman with kids in the car. He's beating up the woman. A woman foul rape on him. A woman destroyed him. A woman said, why is this happening to me? What is going on? Relly, why are you trying these things on me, Relly? I am a woman. I am a woman, Relly. Stop it. 
Stop sending my child, six-year-old child, six, 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 six-year-old child dick pictures. Stop, really. The place is scrambling. Everything is going crazy, really. You are in so trouble. The Lord is coming, really. Oh, my God. After really goes to Atlanta, he starts sending his woman the dick pics. Really starts sending the kids the dick pics. Really starts going crazy. He's kidnapping women in the car with kids. Really he's screaming out around the world. Really he's going crazy in Atlanta. Then really leaves Atlanta. When really leaves Atlanta, really goes to Atlanta. He comes back to Harlem, New York City. When really gets to Harlem, New York City, really goes crazy. He goes on Instagram and shows us a whole bunch of crap with no money. I'm sorry, man. He showed us all crack with no money. Then really starts selling the crack. He's not making no money for his boss. His boss is getting mad. He said that you on Instagram. What are you doing in my house, sleeping on my couch, and you're not making no money? You came down here with no ambition. What is wrong with you, really? You're smoking all this weed and you're on your lobby and not selling the crack. Really? Why is the crack is missing? Really admits to the man, I started smoking the crack. Times is hard. I need help. Can you help me? The guy say no. I need my money. The guy say no, really. Go home to your mother. Now Relly goes home to his mother. When Relly walks through the door, he hears sounds like this. is crying. She's wondering why Relly's back. She asks questions to Relly. She say, Relly, what are you doing here? Relly, what's wrong with you? Put all your clothes in the garage. You have to sleep on the couch next to the kitchen. We have to cover the couch because you take no shower. The girl said you didn't brush your teeth in three days. She said you was dirty, Relly. You are a rapist. You are a pedophile. And after that, he looks at Relly. She's in the house. His grandfather says that he's down with Nikki Barnes. He tells Relly a whole bunch of stories of being with Nikki Barnes. Relly believes his grandfather being with Nikki Barnes. Relly's going more crazy. Relly decides now. Hallelujah. Relly decides now to tell his grandfather that he's a rapper. Relly decides now to tell the world that he wants to make a TV called I Bet TV. Then he calls, say that phone, and say, say that, can you do a show with me called I Bet TV? Say that agrees with him to do the show with him only if Relly starts to show people some respect. Relly do not start to show people respect. Relly goes more crazy. He talks about people's dads. He talks about little kids. He talks about little boys. He talks about mothers. He talks about family members. He's very dirty and disgusting. Now you shut the fuck up, you nasty bitch. <laughs> I say, now, I do the show at Relly. Relly's out of control. He feels that he wins. He has Ty Mac Billy. Ty Mac Billy comes to the I Bet TV. He's a new drill rapper in the world. He has the best song called Ty Mac Billy DOA. Then he drops the next song called Ty Mac Billy the Duffy. Then he drops the next song called Ty Mac Billy the Lifter slash James Harden. Relly's excited. He feels that he's going to win. After Relly started notice that he's winning, and Ty Mac is the show. Relly starts to hate on Ty Mac one day. Comes out of nowhere and they start talking about Ty Mac Billy kid. Ty Mac Billy say no, Relly. I will destroy you, Relly. Can you please give me back my forty dollars, Relly? Can you please give me back my forty dollars, Relly? Can you please give me back my forty dollars, Relly? Can you please give me back my forty dollars, Relly? Can you please give me back my forty dollars, please, Relly? I want my forty dollars. Relly wants to go out with me. I go by Relly's house. I picks him up in the biggest farm. I show him a thousand dollars in cash. I say, Relly, we're gonna spend this money so fast. I take Relly out. We go running around the street. We're hanging out. We're chilling. 
After me and Riley is chilling, we're having a blast. We're in the Beamer. We're pulling up on beautiful ladies. We're showing him our body. He's loved my body. He loves the way we live in our life. We partying. Riley gets hungry at 11.20 at night. Riley say he wants a pastrami sandwich. I say, really, I don't eat pastrami. Really, I would never eat pastrami. What kind of meat is that? No homo. Really, reports to me and say, oh, my God, it's late at night. There's nothing open. What can we eat, Ty Mac? I said, really, I just ate. I came out of my beautiful house, and my wife made me a beautiful dinner meal. Really, did you leave your house without eating? Why would you leave a beautiful house like that without eating, really? Are you still hungry? Really said, I'm hungry, Ty Mac. I haven't ate. You gave me Hennessy. You gave me Calypso juice to drink. You gave me everything to smoke. We smoked unlimited Zaza. I am so hungry. Please, can you take me to McDonald's? Yes, I'm so sorry, man. I took him to McDonald's. After really asks for the McDonald's, really sees the McDonald's is good. Time Mac gives him twenty dollars. He runs inside of McDonald's. When he goes to McDonald's, he orders the whole McDonald's up. Really cash at me ten dollars for that night at eleven twenty p.m. He only had ten dollars to cash me. He had owed me forty dollars because I just gave him a three point five. I told Really, I usually sell it for fifty, but you are my friend, Really. I will charge you forty dollars for your three point five. After I charge Relly $40 for the 3.5, Relly really does not tell me about my money. Relly really lives without my money. Relly really goes crazy on Instagram one day. Time Mac Billy's a star. He's going crazy. The crowd roars. 200 and something people's on his live. Really comes to his live and beg him to come to his live. Time Mac Billy say no. He's entertaining his fans. A lot of his fans don't like you. A lot of fans think you're a dickhead. You're dirty. You wear fake chains. Bad watches. Bad shoes. Bad jeans. Bad shirts. A lot of t-shirts. Too much t-shirts. All them t-shirts. Throw away them t-shirts. You should not wear those t-shirts. Well, Really say now I'm gonna pay you forty dollars. He removes the pay forty dollars. He comes into a situation where he apologize. Really comes to a situation where he apologized to me. When Relly apologized to me, Relly tells me he's sorry for everything he says. Relly say please, Time Mac Billy, can you please bring me a zip of weed? I say Relly, do you know how much is a zip of weed? Relly said I don't care. Just bring me four sevens. I say Relly, I'm bringing you an ounce of weed. The ounce of weed that I'm charging is three hundred and twenty dollars. Well, I. Get ready to ounce of weed. His mother screams out in the background. Really loves weed. Really loves weed. Oh my God. Really loves weed. Really loves weed. Really loves weed. Really loves weed. And then the pastor speaks up his spliff and say. I love weed too. screams and his mother screams inside the thing. Really lays down in that casket. I look over as the pastor, I look at Relly. 
When I look at Randy McCaskey, he's so quiet. He never been this quiet in his life. It's a blessing on earth. He always got something to say that's negative. He talks about the dead all the time. But Relly's dead now. The mother refused to stop saying her son is dead. Really, really now he gets himself in order. Really goes crazy. He's lays in the casket. His mother continues to cry. He apologized to Ty Mac. Really goes crazy. He meets a girl named Aaliyah. When he meets this beautiful girl named Aaliyah, she's already a porn star. She's already famous. She's already beautiful. Really one day decides to call me in the morning. And then Really says to me, Ty Mac Billy, I will take that one year old girl and use her lips for my dick. Then I will take one inch of dick and put in that one year old girl mouth. Really, you're a pedophile. Why well, Relly knows that he want to put one new inch in the little girl mouth. Relly continues to scream that to the world. I'm going to put one inch in the little girl mouth. I'm going to put one inch in the little girl mouth. She's one years old, and I want to put one inch in her mouth. Ladies and gentlemen, Relly Uncle. Ladies and gentlemen, Relly's uncle. You black dick sucking motherfucker. You're related to Relly. We don't have nothing to say to you. Get the fuck out of here. Couldn't stand to look at you anyway, you dick sucking motherfucker. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, that was Relly's uncle. Where Relly tells this woman, and the woman replies to Relly, please, Relly, don't say nothing about my child. Relly, that is a child molester. Relly, don't do that to me. Please, Relly, don't speak on my child. I have a one-year-old daughter. She don't deserve to have nothing to do with this. Relly replies again, I will push one-inch dick in your daughter's mouth. <laughs>